Well, I thought I was going to have a go at making a big cylinder vase now, so I'll just. I've got my camera in the corner there, as far as as close as I can get it to the wall. So hopefully you might be able to see a bit of side-on stuff. See what, what I'm doing with my hands and things. Like I say, I can't get it any further back because we've got a wall here. So it might go out of shot at the top. But we will see. So I've got a six pound ball of clay again. We'll get on with it. So when I'm centering big lumps, I like to comb it up. Like that. And then what you can do is just push it back down and that sort of gets it centered pretty easily. A lot of people centre smaller pieces like that as well, but it's a lot better for, for bigger stuff. I'm just going to dive in. Leave a bit of thickness at the bottom, about maybe a centimetre thick, three eighths of an inch or something. Just squash it down. Now I want to keep it reasonably narrow and then getting narrower to the top so I'm just going to push it in like so just to get all the thick bit of the thick stuff up I'm going to use what they call a heel lift which is using that part of your hand on the outside and then just three or four fingers on the inside oh, it's got an itchy nose. and then just Pushing with your right hand against your left and pushing up at the same time. Just to get some of the thick stuff up. It's a bit snotty at the top. And always collaring in at each sort of time you're doing it. slightly narrow at the top so it doesn't start to flare out. So I'll try and show that the first lift, which is the knuckle lift, which is using the knuckle of that index finger on my right hand underneath the bottom against two or three fingers on the inside. And again just pushing one against the other and lifting up. And if you can see there's my thumb on my right hand above it and that sort of keeps it from spreading out as well. You can get quite a lot of clay up quickly. Just slow it right down. Colour it in again. Just colouring it in so when you lift it again, it just gives it a chance to flare out. If you don't colour in, you just pot will just get wider and wider and wider the more you lift it. So again we'll do another knuckle lift, try and get the last bit of thick stuff up from the bottom. Find that I can get it as thin as I really want just by two lifts. I could lift it again but it's not going to get much thinner. You need more chance of, of it starting to go a bit bubbly. 
So again, I'll just straighten it up. Just collar it in again. These throwing lines, I can just, I can smooth these out tomorrow when I'm turning it, trimming it. So there's no need for it to be too smooth. We'll just get a final little bit of height just by lifting it from as far as I can get my hand down. I don't know whether you can say I've got my, my elbow resting on my knee because you always need something to sort of fix your, your hand to, one of them to. That's just a dead simple cylinder vase. Don't know whether you can see anything any better from that angle, but uh, it's about the best I can do, I'm afraid. So, basically, just a knuckle lift once you get that, the hang of that. It's dead easy to make. You get plenty of clay up quite high. So yeah, knuckle lift, that's the main sort of way to get it up. If you can master that, it's quite, once you get the hang of it, it's, it's dead easy to do. And it just comes a second nature after that. So that's it folks, just a straight cylinder vase. I hope I can show you a few little things that I do.